Hey guys, even though Balleric received a decent buff in one of the recent updates, he is rarely picked nowadays. But he is actually quite effective against heroes who attack very fast, such as Claude. His all casting animation is quite slow, so I would recommend to always use the spell Flicker. Originally, I was planning to pick Gushon, but since S3 insisted on playing the jungler role, I had no choice but to adjust and tank for the team. Just by looking at the enemy's team composition, I felt that I had to play a little smarter and even more aggressively, because if we don't gain quite the advantage in the early game, the enemy will have a huge advantage over us in the late game. I will have to try to do as much as I can in the early game, even if I'm just a tank. While clearing the wave, I should not lose HP unnecessarily. I want to keep my HP high enough, so when I roam around, I won't be giving them a free kill. Just trying to provide vision and keep track of the enemies. This way, they won't be able to do a surprise gank to our Esmeralda. It's important to know when you should play aggressively and when you should retreat. You will get better at these kind of in-game decisions as you keep playing. Well, I just came back from healing. I did not expect them to give back the nice advantage we got just a moment ago. Now the game is back to square one. Well, since Angela's ultimate, I cannot really waste it now. Cecilia already used Purify and he has no mana left. The rest of my teammates have their all available. This should be a very easy turret dive. But nobody seems to want to ult and get a very easy kill. Pride, you 
usually comes before the fall. Remember guys, if you see that your teammates are not full HP and you're a full HP, take some of the turret shots so nobody has to die. A very important tip. This is how you provide vision for your team. Now my teammates can see that Johead is heading bot, so our Granger will immediately retreat. One thing that I wish they improved in this hero is his all casting animation. Maybe just speed it up a little bit and I think Bellary can become an excellent tank. Because unless I use Flicker and holding a point blank distance, it's quite hard to catch heroes with dash skills. Chloe just killed himself here. By the way, I don't want to spoil much, but you might see his name again in a future video very soon. Winky face. Step ahead. Here, I'm paying attention to close hologram. If he teleports back, I'll 100% be able to kill him because he has a long cooldown. Yeah. 
Always try to be one step ahead of your adversary. My teammates wanted to do Lord, but since we have such a huge advantage, we can easily just wait one more minute and take the enhanced Lord instead at minute 12. Belarik just need a little bit of tweak in his ultimate and he will be able to jump from an okay tank to a great one. Victory! I hope you found this video entertaining and if you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Thanks.